I'm so excited about Midnight Texas. So cool. Tell me what got you excited to make this show. Well, when I read the books, it was everything I loved. I mean, it was the most uncanny thing because I love action and we have characters that can do action. We have vampires, we have love stories. We have sort of these epic kind love stories. And even more importantly for me was the idea that there's a community of people who are all so different from one another who have created this sort of found tribe and they'll do anything to protect one another. So in, for me, there was something, I love small town shows I love Little House in the Prairie and I love Western. So it was like literally everything I love in one crazy world that Charlene created that um, I feel really fortunate to get to adapt. I love that we have this opportunity to have a small community that is going, that is so different, but going to fight for each other. Yes. That's something we need now more Hello. than ever. I know. And what I loved about it too is that there's this, these characters have never felt at home anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So when they find that home in midnight, they understand how vital it is to protect it. And I think that, you know, I mean, it's interesting to read these books where you're like, I feel like our world can use a little bit of like learning to respect and love one another despite our differences. And Absolutely. So, I know. So, um, and you know, there's a talking cat. So yeah, let's talk about <laughs> this talking cat for a second. What? What? It's when I read the books, that cat, like, Fiji was always talking about her cat, and her cat was just such a pain in the butt. And then when it talked, I was like, oh, of course it talked. And so for me, it's just one of the crazy things about Midnight that makes it special. <laughs> like Racket Raccoon. Yeah. Everything so can excited. talk. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're Thank so you. excited. Oh, I'm excited like to meet it. the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you.